Hi. <clears throat> in this video, we're going to solve a problem which appear in J Main 2023. So let's go ahead and understand the problem. Here says we have a function fx which is defined as dx divided by 3 plus 4x square and square root of 4 minus 3x square. Here few condition is provided f0 and f1. We need to find out the values of alpha square and beta square. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. So first, as obvious, we'll go ahead and take the given integration fx. So we consider fx equal to the given integration. Now here, as we see that, that uh, our problem is 3 plus 4x square and 4 minus 3x square. So therefore, we need to evaluate this integration in such a way that tan inverse will come in general because that is given as f1. So I'm guessing that, right, we need to rewrite that as somehow in the form of 1 plus x square, 1 plus some function of x whole square so that the tan inverse x or something will come in the picture. So that's why first we go ahead and take the substitution that z is equal to or x is equal to 1 by t. So the reciprocatory, reciprocal we consider. Now let's differentiate. That means dx is equal to minus 1 by t square dt, which implies that fx will become integration of dx will be replaced by minus 1 by t square dt and 3 plus 4x square that will be replaced by 1 by t square and so on. Now, if we go ahead and calculate, we see that we just add both the terms and simplify. So, therefore, in the 3t square plus 4 divided by t square multiplied by 4t square minus 3 divided by t square. Now, if I take t square under the square root take in common, it became t cube 1 by and 3t square plus 4 and square root of 4 minus t square minus 3 will be as it is. So, if we simplify, that means t cube will be goes uh, in the denominator, numerator and it became so therefore, it will be minus integration of t dt divided by 3t square plus 4 and 4t square minus 3. Now, we can easily go ahead and take the substitution as t square is equal to z or whatever. So that t dt will be removed and we get a little bit easier form or something else. Let's go ahead and see that. Let's go ahead and take the substitution 4t square minus 3 is equal to z square so therefore by differentiation at dt will be 2z dz so therefore 2 get cancelled out so 4t dt will be z dz and hence t dt will be 1 by 4 z dz and we can easily observe that t squared is equal to z squared plus 3 divided by 4. now using this information the given integration fx can be easily replaced as a function of z though i'm continuing with fx but take Technically, it should be written as z, but that doesn't matter in, in practical sense, okay? But theoretically, it is. Now, let's go ahead and represent. So, t dt will be replaced by 1 by 4 z dz, and wherever we see t square, I just replace it by z square plus 3 divided by 4, and 4 t square minus 3 will be obviously z square. So, therefore, by proceeding with the so small arithmetic calculation and taking out or adjusting the constant 1 by 4, 3 by 4, and all the stuff, we can easily rewritten as dz divided by 3z squared plus 25. So see that z in, will come out in the denominator and numerator. So therefore, we are mostly are close to our result. Now let's go ahead. So now we are able to rewrite it as if I take 1 by 3 common from the denominator, it gets z squared plus 25 by 3, which can be easily written as z squared plus square root 5 by root 3 square root of whole square. Now, notice that the, or recall the fact that integration of dx by x square plus x square will be tan inverse of x by a and 1 by a will be a multiplier. And hence, using that in this particular problem, my a is equal to 5 by root 3. So, therefore, using the formula, we can say it will be minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 5 by square root of 3. That's why root 3 by 5, tan inverse 8 by a. Now, if I rewrite that, we get it uh, fx in a form of z. Now, Let's go ahead and substitute the value of z. We see that z square we assume as 4t square minus 3. So if I replace that in an appropriate way, so therefore it will be z square j will be replaced by 4t square minus 3 square root. 
Now, we also see that t is actually equal to 1 by x. So, if I use that and do the basic arithmetic calculation, fx became minus 5 by 1 by 5 root 3 tan inverse of root 3 by 5 square root of 4 minus 3x square divided by x plus c. Now, we have to use the basic given condition to find the value of alpha beta. So, the integration is done here. Go ahead and uh, use f0 equal to 0. Now, as f0 equal to 0, we can say that uh, f0, that means 1 by 5 root 3 tan inverse of infinity. Why? Because see that we get 1 by 0 term. So, that's why I write infinity plus c. Now, we know that tan inverse infinity or it doesn't exist at pi by 2. So, therefore, c will come back as pi by 10 root 3. So, using that value, we can easily say that fx is equal to minus 1 by 5 root 3 tan inverse of the given thing plus pi by 10 root 3. Now, we see that we need to find f1. So, now here, before going ahead, we just substitute f1. Now, see that? As we said, we need to find f1, so we substitute x equal to 1. So, if we do so, we say that f1 is equal to 1 by 5 root 3 tan inverse of something plus 5 pi by 10 root 3. We we'll see that 4 minus 3 will be 1, so it will be tan inverse of root 3 by 5 plus 5 pi by 10 root 3. But see that we don't get the final result in the form of 1 by alpha beta tan inverse alpha by beta. So, that's why we just you take pi by 2. Or form. So, for 1 by 5 root 3 taken in common, so therefore it will be 5 by 2 minus tan inverse of root 3 by 5. We know the formula that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. So, therefore the final result if f1 will become 1 by 5 root 3 and cot inverse of root 3 by 5. Now, as the final result is in tan inverse form, so therefore again we use the identity that cot inverse of x is equal to tan inverse of 1 by x and hence we get the answer is 1 by 5 root 3 tan inverse of 5 by root 3. So, therefore, we get our result in the desired form. So, therefore, we can easily have the find the value of alpha and beta by comparing the given uh, relations. So, therefore, here we can say alpha equal to 5, beta equal to root 3 and hence alpha squared plus beta squared it will be 20 and that's it. So, therefore, for this particular problem, 28 is the correct answer. If you are still here, so that means you like this video. So please like and subscribe and give us your valuable comments so we can improve ourselves and you can learn from our side. So keep learning. Happy time. Bye. See you in next video.